Alrighty, y'all. It is October. Time of pumpkins and cooler weather. But no, does not feel like it outside. Temperatures are still in the 90s for us. It's oppressively hot outside, so a lot of people have been asking me, Sarah, where is the cold weather? Well, the good news is there is cold weather across our nation. It's just a little bit too far to the north, and we will be getting a cold front within the next week or so. But what exactly is a cold front? I thought I'd take you through the science behind what a cold front is and why oftentimes in Texas and especially in San Antonio, we go from highs in the 90s sometimes to mornings in the 50s. Well, it all has to do with the fact that cold air is dense and warm air is light. Cold air, which originates up uh, near Canada, is so dense that it spills across the United States and it's a force to be reckoned with. Some fun way that I like to think of it is like pancake syrup, okay? Pancake syrup is so dense. When you spill it over the pancakes, there's no stopping it. You can't take the syrup back. That's the way it is with a cold front in many ways. So let's take you through it. Warm and humid in San Antonio, right? All of a sudden we get that dense cold air that moves through. That's a cold front that kicks up that warm and humid air. It lifts up the warm and humid air because it's lighter. That causes that warm and humid air to condense, hence the water cycle, which is why sometimes we get showers and storms right ahead of that dense push of cold air. And of course, just like that, we change seasons. And again, we have a chance for a cold front in the near future. It's not going to get extremely cold, but the chance for cooler air and a little bit of rain is there. So that's Cold Fronts 101.